Hello everybody, Pastor KZ here. Thank you for watching my channel and welcome back. Of course, as I stated on yesterday, all this week, I'm representing Florida. So I started off with Tallahassee, Florida, which is our state capital. Come on now, y'all know I'm a Florida state person. I couldn't leave Tallahassee without representing Florida state, the undefeated in the regular season, Florida State Seminoles, I might add. So let's get right back into it. But before I get back into it, let me thank you all for your emails yesterday. Oh, they were so beautiful that you sent me. And as you all stated, you so appreciate me sharing just a little bit about me and my siblings. And all my siblings know that I got nothing but love for them. And I want to thank all of them for their continued support. It's very important when you have the support of your siblings, y'all. Brothers and sisters out there squab squabbling and feuding, y'all need to get that right. Because you know what? I'm sure your mama and your daddy would not want y'all fighting and bickering and all of that. Make it right. Call each other. Apologize. Throw it aside and get it right. Because sometime in the end, when mama's gone, when daddy is gone, all you got is your siblings to lean on to. And you stand there, and when you are all sitting there on, on the front rows, you sitting there in that church, and you thinking... You know what? Mom and daddy is gone. I got to cling on to not only my spouse, my children, but I got to cling on to my brothers and my sisters. So put that put that word in your spirit this week, everybody, and, and just call up your sibling. Take them to lunch. Invite them to a meal or something. Just get together. So thank you again for all of your emails and I, I want to thank you all for saying yesterday was a powerful word. You're struggling, yet you're still winning. Let's talk about something today. <clears throat> Sometimes the best move that you can make is a quiet move. You have got to learn when to be quiet and learn how to move in silence. You got to learn how to move in silence. Some of y'all, I'm going to just be real with you. Some of y'all, you talk too much. And I'm going to leave that where that is. Don't be so quick to reveal your plans to everybody. You got to remember there are some people out there who really don't care about you. And there's some people who really do not want to see you win. Some of them are undercover frenemies. Some of them will pretend like they're happy for you, but meanwhile, in their hearts and in their spirit, they're jealous and envious of you, and they don't want to see you come up. They don't want to see you climb out of that pit you've been in. They don't want to see you move from depression to having joy again. Some people like you best when you're down and out, when you are struggling. So sometimes you got to learn how to just close your mouth and move in silence. Your ammunition should be your silence. <clears throat> so remember something very important. You have the favor of the Most High God on you. And nothing the enemy tries, it will work. It doesn't matter who plots, plans, and schemes against you. You still have favor. So Whenever you put what, what you're going through in the hands of the Lord, it don't matter what other people say. It doesn't matter what they pray against you for. What's for you, it is for you. But still, learn sometime how to move in silence. Don't forget this very important key. They watch you. People watch every move you make. You may not be aware of who watches you or even why they're watching you, but it's some monitoring spirits out there. So that's why you got to not reveal all of your plans and learn how to move in silence. Now, nothing, as I said, and no one can stop the plan of God that's going that's that, that's going to open doors for you. That's That's not going to stop it. It might delay it, though might delay it. So your best strategy sometimes is to move in silence. Now, what are, what are you saying? That means you've got to take action and take steps to work on something bigger in your life without announcing it to the world just yet. 
Sometimes they're not ready for what you're about to announce. Sometimes it requires you getting prepared for what's next in your life. See, a lot of people have all of these thoughts and plans and they're all over the place. And they don't have anything grounded or rooted. What I'm saying is you just spewing out things that you know may not be realistic plans for you. But you have got to, as Habakkuk 2.2 2 say, write the vision and make it plain. Pray over that thing and move in silence. I know somebody just got a word because something bigger is ahead for you. People ain't ready for what's next for you. Believe that. Something is in the in progress for you. It's already in motion for you. It's already been released to you. Somebody is looking for you right now to bless you. Somebody is looking for you right now to open a door for you. You're around here struggling with a particular idea of something and, and worrying about how you're going to do it, what what are the tools you need to do it, and there's somebody out there looking for you to bless you with just what, what you need. And one thing I like to call it is quiet determination. Being a little bit discreet, not attracting unnecessary attention to yourself, keeping your set goals kind of under wraps until it's time to bring that thing out to fruition. You've got to learn how to create boundaries with people and stop oversharing your information. Some of you, you just tell everything on social media. You talk too much and you overshare. And sometimes when you overshare, don't you know you're putting certain things in the atmosphere? Some of you speak very negative things sometimes. Sometimes you will speak a positive and you abort it with something negative. You've got to learn how to know when it's time for me to be quiet. Learn how to protect your privacy and prioritize getting focus, getting balance, and getting peace. Because you know what? Moving in silence could be a good thing and it could be just what you need to do close your mouth sometime pray about that thing speak it into existence even before you see it so when everybody see it they can't say oh see i knew that was gonna fail she was talking so much and look no move in silence watch how it turns out for you at the end of the video comment like and share thank you so much for watching whatever you do get yourself focused get focus. Some of you are running around and you have no focus. You don't have a clue where you're going. What's your next move? And some people say, well, I just live a day at a time. I understand living a day at a time, but it's good to still have goals and things. And stop saying, well, I'm too old. My life has changed now. I'm retired now or I'm sickly now. I don't, I don't have a desire for that. Find something that you're passionate about. Even if it's cooking dinners and, and give, sharing dinners with your neighbors, find something that you have a passion for. Move in silence. It'll be okay for you. Y'all have a wonderful day. Don't forget, comment, like, and share, and subscribe if you have not. Let somebody know about this channel. I pray that you get a word each day. Something is, It's something for everybody on each day. So take what you will and glean from it. And you know what? Do as I do. No matter what, always walk in favor. This is Pastor KZ and Florida State University. Y'all keep it coming. They overlooked you in the national championship, but it's okay. Tallahassee, Florida, I represented you for two days. Let's see who I represent tomorrow. Y'all come back.